Evening guys, welcome back to another one of my YouTube videos. There's the classic start out the way for you. Um, tonight, obviously, we had last week. Last week's was really good. I want to talk about last week's. So obviously, we're back in my little base, back in where I feel the most like relaxed. Last week, it was pretty intense. I know the camera was really, really close. I did have the shirt on. I've got it on again. It's one of my favourites, and I've teamed it up with this nice little red red number on top, red little leather I got in Liverpool ages ago. Um, but yeah, I think it's quite a cool little combination. Um, got the little sleeve rolled up there as well. Um, but yeah, the shirt went down absolutely awesome. Everyone loved it. Um, hopefully you've checked it out as well. And it is a killer shirt, it's really, really nice. Um, but this week, obviously we've got another blog post, hence another YouTube. I'm getting better at this. Um, but yeah, it's a really, really good one. I've got a huge box down here. Um, it got delivered like, it was a few weeks ago now. Um, but I've shot it and it'll be on the blog and it's, it's another good one. Personally, you might not have heard of the brand. I only heard of it last year. Um, I've been following them on Instagram for a while, but it's a brand well worth checking out. Um, there's a blog post tonight, so I want to throw up obviously a few pictures. Um, and I've tried to do this blog post like quite professionally. Um, because I think we're, we're sort of like had a little partnership going on. Um, I want to talk to you guys about it, post a few little posts on Instagram. They're going to throw a few of my images up, hopefully, as well. Um, so, yeah, it'll, it'll, be, it'll be quite a cool one. They've sent me a killer pair of jeans as well. You might have seen them on my Instagram stories when I first got them, um, but I'm going to show you them tonight as well. Um, but they're really, really nice. They're like really, really rock and roll. And I think they still might have a few sizes there. They're from a previous season. Um, but if they've done them once, they might do them again, or they'll obviously do something similar. They're quite obviously, there's there's a lot to choose from. There's something there on the website for everyone, but obviously me, like my rock and roll style, there's definitely quite a few things you can choose from the website over there. So I might actually have a little quick look at the website as well. I've got my laptop down here. Might be quite a good thing to do. Um, so I might throw that on. So actually, that is quite a good thing to do. How's about that's just an idea that's just popped into my head. So how's about we have. A look on their website. So if you give me a couple of seconds to log on the old computer and find the website, we'll go through that and have a little talk, check out some stuff online. So the brand is called Tiger. I don't know if it's Tig Hat or Tig Hat or not really sure on the pronunciation. Probably someone will be able to tell me. Um, but yeah, um, so it's a German based brand. Um, but if you click on the little sort of sidebar online, you'll be able to select the UK um, the UK, obviously, language, there we go. East Slow, East Slow, it's quarantine, it's in the morning, it's one of those things. So, the uh, a women's and men's brand. I've not actually had a little delve into the women's, but it might be something I'm going to do, but not now. I'm going to obviously show you the men's side of the website. So, we'll have a look at the new arrivals, because this probably are a few things I have in this massive box. Um, so the new arrivals are loaded now. So I got like t-shirts, I got jeans, I got the pair of jeans from last season, which I love. And I got two, lucky enough to get like a suede and a leather to talk about as well. Um, so I'll find all these online, but as you can see at the minute, there's some awesome styles online. There's quite a few skulls, there's leathers. I think the leathers are really, really nice. I've got two I want to talk through now. So I've got like a leather jacket and a suede jacket, and I'll give you a closer look um, with them. Um, but as you can see, they're, they're a little bit like, I'm trying to think of what brand they're a little bit like. There's a little bit of Coupels in there, there's a little bit of Diesel in there, like old school Diesel, um, especially with this denim jacket here. A um, bit of All Saints mixed in. It's, it's, it's definitely a cool vibe, definitely they've got something, I love this brand. Um, there's a bit of tie-dye, maybe personally I'm not really a tie-dye type of guy. But um, there's something, as I say, something there for everyone. Right, these jeans, I want to get these jeans out and I may as well, I'll do the website first and then I'll get the stuff out. So those are the jeans I have, so the Robins and I want to talk to you about them in a minute. Um, and I mean, this leather, the leather shirt, it's absolutely amazing. It's cool. Obviously they've paired it up, they styled it up their own way, but their pieces are so versatile. I think there's definitely movement in there for like anyone to take them with, with any sort of style, rock and roll, or sort of like, I don't know, like, what's, what's other styles than rock and roll? Surely that's the only one that truly exists. Um, you know, like rock and roll or sort of like just your clean cut type of guy, or there's, there's, there's something there for absolutely everyone, but you can wear this stuff in so many different ways, it's so versatile. So I mean, I could wear that jacket totally different to someone else, um, and would totally pull it off 
out or way. So there's a lot of movement in the styles to like get something and then build the outfit around it. Um, they've got a few nice shirts going on. They've got some nice distressed denim in there as well. Um, but yeah, it's a really, really cool website. Um, you will have to look through it yourself. Um, but it's on there. I'll link all the descriptions and stuff, blah, 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 below and across, obviously, on my blog. Right, so we've done the website thing. It was short, but really I want to get talking about the clothes because that's what I do here on YouTube. Um, so this box, as you can see, we're there. This box is huge. So they've, they've literally, like, they've sent me a lot of cool things. So I'm going to stick this on the floor and talk to you about it. And I'm going to pull one item out at a time. So since... I've just mentioned the jeans online. Actually, I can't pull the jeans out. You know why? Because I'm wearing them. So these jeans, absolutely killer pair. This is what I always find. I always find like you can't get a really nice pair of skinny jeans. And I've been looking for a pair of skinny jeans for absolutely ages. But I want to tell you now, obviously I did that Brooklyn supply call. Those jeans randomly from ASOS were really, really nice and they fit really, really well. These jeans are on par, if not better. They're a little bit more expensive. Um, I think they're coming in about 99, 100 pounds. So basically it's challenging All Saints to that price. I find these so much better than All Saints. They've got the elastic in, they're just the fit to the leg. Um, they're really comfortable, they're really smooth. They're such a nice denim. They're a lovely color. And they're just a really, really nice skinny jean. Like everyone asks me, that's one of the biggest questions is where do you get your skinny jeans? Obviously those Brooklyn Supply Co, like they don't do them anymore. The All Saints ones, they've never been the same for like three or four years now. Um, and I've sort of been stuck for a skinny. Um, these ones, 100%, I would definitely recommend. So these are the Robin Jean, they're online, which we've just seen on the website. And they are so, so nice. So I definitely recommend these. Um, killer pair of jeans, really, really nice skinny. Gives you a really, really nice silhouette to the leg as well. Um, the other pair of jeans that sent me though are killer. So these, sadly, I don't think they've got online anymore. You might be able to find them somewhere. They might have the odd pair here and there. Um, but they sent me these because I was like, oh my God, have you still got those in stock? Just take a look at these jeans. So they've got like the classic rock and roll like lattice work down the side of both legs on the, um, on the outer side. Um, but you can see the, the attention to detail on these jeans. So they've got a lovely leather patch there at the back. Um, they've got a really, really nice brand logo in metal um, fixed to the back pocket. And obviously all their buttons have brand name on as well. Um, it gives you a little bit more information about the denim and about the jeans inside, which is a quite nice touch. Um, but these are like these are like super thick, super heavy, really, really nice. A little bit like the ones I've got on now. Um, these have got a little bit more weight to them just because of the lace running and obviously the metal. Um, you know, sort of circles, and I'm trying to think of the name, the metal sort of punched circles in the side of the leg. So they're a little bit more weighty than the ones I've got now, and they're a little bit more thicker, um, but I absolutely love these jeans. So I've not really taken that many pictures with these ones yet. In fact, I've not taken any pictures, but I'm trying to think of like a really cool setup. I saw a really good one. They've got the big circle bits of metal down the side, and that was on the upper shelf the other day. I really, really liked that. I thought it was a nice pair of boots. And I'll pause this video now. Classic interruption there. Where was I? Um, yeah, so these jeans are really, really nice. I've not really taken that many photos with them, but I want to take a cool photo. And you'll see a lot more photos in this YouTube with the other pieces I have. Um, but yeah, yet to take a photo with these, but I'll tell you what, I've been wearing them like every Friday when I get dressed up to do the classic pub quiz on Zoom. I've been wearing these jeans and I literally can't wait to wear them out. Um, I think they're absolutely sick, they're amazing, they're so rock and roll, they've got such a good feel to them and obviously with that side sort of lattice work on them as well, um, they're like nothing I ever have. I've really, I've been wanting a pair of these for absolutely ages, so I'm super grateful uh, I've been given these. So, they're a killer jean. Anyway, let's go. This is a really, really nice one. Um, so this is the suede and leather um, sort of weekend bag. So this weekend bag, it smells, it smells absolutely amazing. Um, so it's quite a large size, it's um, really, really cool. It's a lovely black suede and then a black leather. It's got a really cool like handle to it as well with um, the little branded buttons on the top. So this is like a clasp weight and obviously have it both sides or you can clasp it up, put it in the middle and it's easier to carry. Um, it's got the brand with a leather sort of mark in there. And this little section, which I really, really love, which I actually got a really good photograph of, 
um, it says a true love story never ends um, and that's just written it's like punched in the suede and that's a little tassel on the side it's got a big zip in the back and it's got so much room so many pockets um, inside but I thought like having this on a shoot like I've always like wanted to shoot with bags and sort of like have something to hold it's just like you get a cooler vibe when you when you're like shooting something so it was really really nice um, to take this out and get some good photographs where I was um, so obviously where I was the location was quite I had to sort of pick it um, and I had to think about where I wanted to do you know do it um, so obviously it was a late sort of like late night it's getting dark at like seven well it's getting dark at like nine o'clock now so we went out at like seven went to this abandoned like huge area and it had all this rubble because this building had just been knocked down and it was quite a cool obviously safe uh, because we didn't meet anyone and we social distanced ourselves but yeah there was no one there we didn't see anyone we didn't in come into contact with anyone so we, it's all good there but yeah got some killer shots um, love this bag love shooting with the bag and loved shooting with the outfits as well. Um, yeah, so this location was really, really cool. So it was like a, a big open space and it had loads of rubble and it had like loads of like um, old school metal. It was a big factory and it got knocked down and it's all been like cordoned off, but we snuck through the fence, um, you know, because we're dangerous. Yeah, so this bag, absolutely killer, absolutely love it. And it's got, it's just like the perfect weekend bag. So much room inside awesome handle looks amazing when you're carrying it it's got loads of zips it's got loads of pockets all the little branded zips buckles and buttons um, and it's got a really really nice base to the um, bottom of the bag as well but yeah really really nice killer piece there um, right let's get talking about let's put this little little shirt on a hanger so i can talk to you properly so this is one of the shirts i chose from their website and this shirt, we'll get it all nice. There we go. This is the shirt. So this is like a wave print shirt. This print comes in black, which I chose, and it comes in an orange as well. Um, I got these in a size small, so the size small is pretty, pretty easy. I mean, I'm normally small anyway, and it, they fit like a dream. All the fits, all the sort of, um, you know, like tailored, the, everything feels really, really tailored. Everything fits perfectly well. And um, the material and the quality of everything I've, I've found is like second to none. Really, really nice. So yeah, this is wave print shirt is quite a, it's quite a different one. I mean, I don't know if I'd normally choose this, but it's, it's a really nice shirt um, nevertheless. And it, it was quite, it's quite airy, it's quite relaxed. I obviously wore it quite open. I think even this, I mean, this quarantine thing is really, really bad. I don't think I could, I don't think I could go to a bar with a shirt this open, but I feel like I'm just wearing clothes and I'm just like, just draping them on me at the minute. Um, because to be honest, it's the first time I've been dressed up in a while. Um, but yeah, it's nice to actually get dressed up and do something rather than just like, I've been painting quite a lot. So I've been, I've got this cool rock and roll, obviously, um, Rolling Stones canvas. So obviously they released Ghost Town and I was like, right, that's cool. I want to paint a picture about it. So I'm currently doing that, but literally I'm living in like, you know, joggies, paint, paint t-shirts, it's got, it's everywhere. Um, so I can't really wear anything nice, but it's nice to get dressed up today. So yeah, this um, shirt, really, really nice, little black buttons down the side. It's got a little branded label on the side pocket here of the shirt. Um, but yeah, I just love the wave print and it's just quite a nice, relaxed, cool, chilled out, throw on t-shirt. Obviously it would go nicely under like a black leather jacket. It would go nicely as I wore it by itself. So we'll have a look at the few photos, the few photographs I got with it um, at the location I chose. So yeah, the photographs are quite cool. I loved how uh, they turned out. I liked um, the, obviously how the shirt one turned out. I loved how I got a couple of the bag just on like, there was like this polished concrete floor with a bit of like rubble and stone and all the items look really, really nice against it. I think I got a really nice one of this shirt against it as well. It was so like, it was such a nice, you know, texture and material to like flat lay things against. And um, so I think we got some cool shots of the shirt, got the cool shots of the shirt on as well. I'll lose the hanger and stick it on something else now. Right, so the next one we have a jacket. I went for like a green vibe, green and like sort of blacks and blues throughout. 
Um, but the colour palettes online, they're like every sort of like everyone's got a sort of colour palette and they stick to it. So they've got you can see it's more of an all sensi sort of Coupal's colour palette. And there's a little bit of tie dye thrown in there, obviously like a season trend. Um, but I love the colour palette online, it's quite dark and obviously that suits me. Um, so this one I chose, this is um, a really, really cool, very cool thick suede. And it's a like petrol green, sort of like, you know, army military colour. Um, which is really really nice. I love this jacket. I think it looked absolutely awesome um, when I wore it as well So I've got some cool shots of me wearing this jacket. They give me um, a t-shirt which I have upstairs I've not actually got with me right now, but it's just they do these little I think they're called Milo t-shirts So they come in a few like a range of colors and they're super comfortable super nice all sort of with like a raw sort of um, Neckline uh, raw round neck neckline. There we go raw round neckline bam he sorted it so it was quite nice to throw a t-shirt on put the shirt on and then or mix it up with the jacket and there's so many different ways all these pieces are so versatile um, and obviously wear it in different ways like i said online um, but all these buttons down the um, jacket are branded it's got this really really cool sort of sewn in patch on the back and on it, all these jackets that come with the same that's a bit like their logo but the logo's not there but it's like a classic um, touch of obviously which is on all their jackets this sewn on patch effect um, at the back the jacket's got two really really nice pockets and more of a trucker style um, this jacket but the suede it's such an unusual uh, material to see a trucker jacket in it's got some nice hand woman pockets which are finished with a leather sort of trim and um, yeah I couldn't really fault this jacket it's so cool and it's just so effortless it's got a couple of nice little tightening buttons fastening buttons on the back as well if you want to bring the waist in and yeah it's just just a sick jacket again it's got the tiger metal logo um, printed on the jacket and fixed to that position but yeah i think this jacket with the collar up collar down it's just unbelievable it's really really nice the quality is really really nice it's quite a raw style so obviously you can see the stitching in the back and you can see the sort of the, the colour and the tarnish to this jacket. It's quite raw, it's quite rugged, it's quite edgy. And I think that sort of sums up the brand itself as well. Moving on, so I'm going to take the hang off this one and stick it on the next one. Right, again, we've got a super smooth um, leather here. So this leather, again, is like a military green. Um, it's quite nice because I don't normally go for a green leather. I've never had one before, and that's what actually made me choose. Um, this leather right here. Obviously they've got biker jackets, they've got black jackets, they've got you know like your classic leather um, shirt style jackets as well online but I wanted something different so I went for this really really nice jacket here. So it's got some nice shoulder detail in, it's got a really cool sort of zip, it's got a nice little green tassel and it's got like it's like an old motorcycle jacket type of thing. Um, but this jacket I really really like, it comes in a black as well, the leather's so smooth, it's so you know soft. It's got the classic sewn in logo section at the back and that obviously fixes the label inside as well. But it's sort of like a raw, it's a rugged, it's meant to be seen. It's not meant to be invisible, it's not meant to be in the jacket. And I think it's a really, really nice touch because you get to notice their jacket straight away just by the back uh, little label section. Um, but yeah, it's a really, really cool jacket. It's, uh, it's got a couple of nice pockets in, a couple of nice little detail zips on the jacket as well. It's a little bit understated, this jacket doesn't scream in your face, it's not out there at all. Um, but it's it's really cool. Some, sometimes when you just want to just put a jacket on and just go out there with like more of a casual vibe, I think this is the perfect jacket, especially if it's in black as well. I think the one in black will look really, really nice. I like the shoulder detailing. I've not really got that many jackets with the shoulder detailing, but it's sort of grown on me. And I like sort of the round neck buttoned um, collar to it as well. Obviously I wore it open at all times, started up that way, obviously had the bag, you can see a couple of photographs. Now if you want to see more of these photographs, go across to my blog, have a little read, have a little bit more in-depth, you know, feel with the product. Obviously there's the links there and there's the actual um, names of all these products and items here. Now, um, so we've got one more pair of jeans left I want to talk to you about. So these are the sort of the more raw jean. So they've got like obviously the tarnished marks and the rips and the sort of um, the wear, the worn look about these jeans. So again, these are really, really nice. I wore these with, what did I wear these with? I think I wore them with the shirt. I might be mistaken, but I think it was with the blue shirt. Um, again, they've got the black um, leather patch at the back. 
um, and they've got their Tiger logo in metal. But again, the denim is just is super, super nice. It's really, really you know comfortable. It's a really good fit. And to be honest, I absolutely have fallen in love with the denim. I think it's probably one of, I mean, those dreams were the last work. I absolutely love the suede jacket. It's killer. But the denim is, it's really surprised me. It's, it's really, really nice. It's a really good fit. It's quality. And um, yeah, it's just, it just fits so well on the leg. Um, all these little side pockets I've noticed have got this little sort of like sharpened little angle detail in the back of the pockets as well, which is quite a nice touch. Again, which you can tell probably straight away, you can recognize the brand just by that little detail, um, little sewn stitch on the back of the pocket. And yeah, these are nice because they've obviously got that sort of like worn effect. So they've got the rips, they've got the stitch marks, and they've sort of got the oil stain speckle marks as well in the denim uh, but yeah these look really really cool on absolutely love the jeans um, but yeah 100 i definitely strongly recommend going across and checking out the website we've had a little look ourselves um, at the start of the video but if you want a proper good troll also check out the women's wear section because you never know what you can style from either side and i think obviously if they do some super cool men's gear it'd be quite nice even if you've got a girlfriend or you you know girl mate Tell them about this. It's a really, really cool brand. You need to check out. Head across their Instagram. Their Instagram's really cool as well. So they like they love the couples photos. They love the sort of the black and white photography. The sort of vibey shots. And um, obviously they talk a lot about their garments. You see a lot of background shoots. They're doing a shoot at the minute, um, which I think they're just taking more photos of. That it might be more SS20. Um, I'm not too sure, but they're in the studio now and they've got a good sort of like behind the scenes look about the brand as well on their Instagram stories. So it's well worth going to check out. Um, hope you've liked it, hope you like some of the looks and some of the photographs. Um, check out my blog, that'd be absolutely killer. And uh, yeah, another week, another YouTube. Crazy times, especially in isolation, hope everyone's doing well. Um, we've had a bit of an up and down week here, but it's been, hopefully, fingers crossed, touch wood. It'll be, uh, it'll be all good. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all I've got to say. So hopefully you like this YouTube. If you liked it, give me the big thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, why aren't you subscribed? You know, click subscribe. This is what we talk about. This is what we do. Bit of rock and roll fashion, bit of styling, bit of, you know, bit of me sometimes. And uh, it's all in the YouTube. Thanks for watching another one. See you in a bit.